think there's two main figures that when we talk about the Athari creed or the Salafi creed or the, even the Hanbali, right? Madhab. Uh, that come to mind uh, immediately. Which one of them is Ibn Taymiyyah? Died 728 AH, you know. And I'm not sure. I was talking about the Najd movement. Yeah, yeah. Of, of but I was going to say Islam. also now the second one is Ibn, Ibn Abdul yeah. Wahab. Muhammad yeah. Ibn Abdul Wahab died 1792. Yeah. Um, Miladi time, which yeah. is Gregorian calendar. Yeah. So, um, the, in terms of their, their approaches, from my study, this is what I've come to understand. With Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Taymiyyah didn't have these uh, these views. I, just, yeah. I, want, I want to be clear about that, and there, and I'll give you some evidences for that. Ibn Taymiyyah had um, had an, uh, someone called Bakri at his time. Mm. Okay, and Bakri used to believe in istighatha, you know, yes. calling to say yeah, yes, Muhammad yes, yes. and stuff like that, which Ibn Taymiyyah and other places may have considered as as an asl aslan. As it might have considered it shirki or something like that, mm. right? But he wrote a book called Al Raddu Ala Bakri. And in this book, he never made takfir of Bakri. Mm. And in fact, not only did he never make takfir of Bakri, but he never, he, when Bakri was in trouble, he, he hid him in his house. Mm. Even though Bakri made takfir of Ibn Taymiyyah, by the way. Yes. So Ibn Taymiyyah was, uh, though he is sometimes invoked in these discussions, it's important to clarify to the viewers because a lot of them will be thinking, yes, Ibn Taymiyyah is no, not Ibn Taymiyyah. No, no, right? no, no, no. I, I should have made that clear. His yeah. appearance and, and many of his stances are distinctly and starkly different to 100%. that of the Nazis movement of the 18th Ibn century. Ibn Abdul Wahab now is a little bit different because he, from, from what my studies, the question is, did he make, did he have Adr ibn Jahl or not? Mm. This is the question about him in particular, mm. yeah. Ibn, Ibn Abdul Wahab. Did yeah. he believe in Adr ibn Jahl or not? And there's two opinions on that. Mm. Some scholars will say because he said in one um, in one part of his Durasaniya, mm. because you know these little books that we're talking about, Usul al Thirth Qawal al Arba'ah, yes, yes. and uh, Kashf al Shubuhat mm. and mm. Nafid al Islam, yeah. which is what these, uh, which which is what people read, and then they think the Khalas they've uh, expired, yeah. they have exhausted knowledge. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Seriously, so people yeah. read these books and think they have exhausted knowledge. Yeah. But at any rate, when you read uh, Durr Saniyya, which is like the, the main fatawa of not only Ibn Abdul Wahab, but those who came after him. Yes. This, this, there are some things with him where he says, you know, in, in, in la nu, uh, min sanam, you know, if we are not going to dis, uh, make takfir or excommunication of those who do uh, abd of a sanam, mm -hmm. or literally worship uh, a, a statue. Yes. Then how about those individuals? So there are some things which we can take from his words, which maybe he does with Adar Bajal, but other parts where he, he seems like he's not saying that. Yes. So I'm not going to say I know the answer to that mm. and say, okay, he's this or he's that, but there are these two opinions of him. Um, those who came after him had different mindset completely. Why not just deal with what actually took place historically? Yes. Yeah. So that, that's those who came usually after him, yeah, his, yeah. Ahfer, his grandchildren. Yeah. So, so, so what actually did take place was that there was an armed rebellion against yeah. the, the Uthmani Khilafah. And a lot of the... Treason. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was treason. And, and, and a lot of the theological uh, justification, the legal justification, was that the, 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 the Uthmani Khulafa were, were not just deviants, they, they, they had apostated, right? Yes, uh, no, that's, that's clearly... That's the, yeah. If you look at Dur Saniya, yeah. I mean, there's no... And the, anyone who trusted the yeah. I can we can find them there. No, the, the, yeah, yeah, there's references in abundance. In yeah. abundance, yeah. yeah. In abundance, yeah. Well, just as long as we're making clear that this is not... We're not talking necessarily... Uh, about Ibn Taymiyyah because mm. that's that's someone that no. people invoke and even Ibn Abdul Wahab is a question mark around yeah. that so we're talking about because the Dura Sani is probably one of the best text yeah. primary texts I'm talking about I'm talking, yeah. talking about the roots of this mindset yeah, yeah. the roots of this mindset goes back to them periods yes right? yes for sure so, there so, is, therefore, yes. so therefore given that understanding and given the evolution of this movement and this thinking and the fact yeah. that it still exists in the form of uh, be it S pubs, be it Abu Khadija, yeah, be it yeah. be it the Madakhila. Well, they, they, they do it in Tabdiya form. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But the point is, it the way it manifests in the Muslim world That's can right. literally mean death. It could do, yeah. No, no, it has done. It, well, in Libya, well, you're saying Libya, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Libya and Libya. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 so I'm saying it. here, okay, it's PDF refutations. Yeah. Right. There is, but in areas where there's rife, and there's, where there's fertile ground for it, violence. It's, it's violence. It's, 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 but it's, it's the same justification. But I just don't get it because, you know, in Libya, mm. as you know, mm. if it's Khuruj al Hakim, yeah. who's the Hakim? Well, there's two Hakims at the moment. There's a dispute of uh, So, yeah, so yeah, this so is my, my so question. And by the way, I accept the, the premise that we shouldn't do Khuruj al Hakim Muslim. I agree with that. This is the Hanbali view. This yeah. is what I follow. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't do Khuruj al Hakim al Muslim. Mm -hmm. And and also we agree with the, the premise that we don't want to start civil wars in different countries. Of course. And we don't, and we don't want another Syria. Mm -hmm. We don't want another Syria. But I'm not saying, you know, but having said that, 
We we can't say that you know what happened to the Syrian people was in vain. These were shuhada. Of course, and of course there were there were deviant groups. Yeah. Uh, um, there were um, criminal groups like ISIS that came so, out, right? with that. and th that's horrible. And we don't, and those groups, not just ISIS, but those who are related to their kind of thought process, yeah. criminals. But at the same time, this started off as a person who was not a Muslim. Bashar al-Assad was not a Muslim, mm. right? He's <laughs> he's a Alawi, mm. and uh, from our perspective, that's not Islam. Mm. And he was killing his people. You know, these people came out. And so Al Khuruj Alayhi is, is coming out against him is not the same as coming out against someone who at least have Madhahir al Islam. Is so, and, 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 and let's keep in mind as well that, that the Ummah in Syria did not raise arms first. It became yes. an issue of defending themselves for survival and to That's protect right. the women, folk, their land, and their property. Absolutely. The, when, the, when, when the regime turned the guns onto the uh, unarmed protesters, yes. that's when they had to resort. Uh, Absolutely. And you had defections from, from that. On the